rode from the battlefields of the Ukraine, where the hordes of Soviet prisoners of war swept up in the German November drive on Moscow, is a long and bitter one. On this forced march of more than 100 miles, with the barest of starvation rations, death from exposure and brutal treatment has already taken a heavy toll. But for Beryl Jastro, Aaron Jastro's cousin and fellow yeshiva scholar, this is an old and familiar road. Part of a labor draft culled from the sturdiest of the Russian prisoners. They are bound for a place near the village of Jastro's youth. Oshwiesen, a place that takes its name from this village. But now, since the occupation, a place called Auschwitz. How many were there at the start of the march? More than 10,000. And perhaps you would like to tell me how I'm to build barracks for 100,000 prisoners with what's left. They are nothing but walking corpses. There are good specimens too. Yes, one out of 10, maybe one out of 20. Besides, I have to use up 900 straight off. SS Major Rudolf Franz Ferdinand Hess, Commandant, KL Auschwitz. SS Lieutenant General Heinz Kammler. A doctor of engineering, Kammler is in charge of the all-powerful SS Works Division. Primary responsibility, all concentration camp construction in the Reich. Highest priority, expansion of the Auschwitz interest area into an industrial and slave labor complex of unprecedented magnitude. Herr uh, Gruppenführer, may I speak my mind? By all means. For 18 months now, I've put my heart and soul into building this new camp. The point is, what does Reichsführer Himmler really want of me? Maximum production of war material or maximum elimination of the nation's enemies? I'm a soldier, Herr Gruppenführer. I will do either job but I cannot do both at the same time. But why do you suppose you were chosen, Hess? The Reichsführer knows you are a man who can accomplish the impossible. And he will see to it that you are richly rewarded. Of that, I assure you. Thank you. But what will you be using for the special test? Cyclone B, an ordinary insecticide. So simple. Standard camp issue for fumigation, cyanide base. Of course, you're aware we will have to process hundreds of thousands, eventually millions. It's the Führer's will. Will the new material work on such numbers? I believe it will. We have already tested it on smaller numbers. Besides, what is the alternative? 
The carbon monoxide they used at Treblinka was preposterous. I could have told them that. Messy, wasteful of fuel. And shooting on such a scale, the psychological effect on the execution squads would be unendurable. Besides, the Reich has better uses for the ammunition. So, you will be testing on 900 POWs. And on the camp records, what? 900 political commissaries. When? Christmas Day. Christmas. You won't be ready any sooner. Anyway, what do godless Bolsheviks care about Christmas? <laughs>